It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. I'm Veronica Dan Igboy. And as usual, I'm not here alone. I have Kemi Folade Amo joining me. Kemi, good morning. Good morning, Veronica. Good to see you good again. To see you. Looking good. And you too. I hope you had a restful night. That question. <laughs> don't, don't, let me, don't let me answer, please. <laughs> anyway, we have an array of issues to look at this Indeed. morning. Uh, the suspended uh, strike, strike. Uh, by organized labor after an agreement with government was reached uh, yesterday. And then we also look at uh, the president's speech. This time around, we're focusing on agriculture and the environment. And then again, uh, a topical issue that has been making headlines online, social media, everywhere. It's also the matter of uh, Chicago State University finally releasing the academic records of President Bola Tinubu to the PDP presidential candidate in person of Atiku Abu Bakr, who made demands of it. And uh, that is where we will begin this morning. The Chicago State University has finally released the academic records of President Bola Tinubu. The district court in Northern Illinois had in its uh, judgment delivered on Saturday, giving the university up till 12 noon on Monday to deliver the documents to Atiku, which the university has now compiled, uh, complied with. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the opposition People's Democratic Party in Nigeria's uh, February the 25th the election, had requested the documents to back his allegation of forgery of uh, Chicago State University certificate against uh, uh, President Bola Tinubu. Now, Mr. Abubakar is trying to prove that President Tinubu was not qualified to run for the election, which he won. On Monday, the university presented to Atiku's legal team a cache of documents connected to Mr. Tinubu's education at the institution and copies of certificates with redacted names issued to other persons about the same time the Nigerian president finished from the school in 1979. It also contained Mr. Tinubu's admission records and a letter dated the 27th of June 2022, confirming that he attended the university from August 1977 and June 1979, majoring in accounting. But will this put to rest all those in doubt of the president's educational background? That's the big question. And it must be said that uh, the document also tallies with uh, that uh, that was presented to INEC by the president. It was part of the documents uh, presented to INEC by the president. It's, um, as it's been recorded, uh, that it's the same. It matched the certificate that the president presented. But then uh, reactions have been, you know, divergent with regards to this uh, a development, uh, one of which is uh, the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace. He reacted and is asking, <laughs> first of all, yeah, is asking uh, Atiko Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the PDP, to <clears throat> apologize to the president uh, for this humiliation, as he calls it, apologize to the president and Nigerians. Kemi. Right. There's been so, so much controversy over the whereabouts of um, the academic qualifications or the academic certificate of uh, President Tinubu. Uh, over the weekend, we saw how, you know, much of an issue it was. It has actually, you know, been an issue long before now. Here in Nigeria, we've gone past the stage of the initial election petition Court, which deliberated on these and other issues presented by the PDP's candidates and, of course, um, another opposition party, that is uh, Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Party. Oh. And um, now that is before the Supreme Court. And as we have been listening to uh, you know, several uh, legal experts on the matter, how far Atiku Abubakar wants to go in this bid uh, of his now it re remains to be seen because, you know, according to lawyers, uh, there may not be much that the Supreme Court can do, even if the CSU, that is the Chicago State University, had presented another information because mm -hmm. bringing in new 
evidence, you know, mm -hmm. at this stage is um, is rather late. And um, but from what we have seen, the oh, because CST, it's a pre-election matter. Uh, well, because uh, the Supreme Court's work is is cut out, mm. it's just to weigh the evidence that has already been presented at Before the lower the, court. Yes. So there is really not nothing. nothing much. It's not going to be like a fresh hearing where witnesses will come and mm. testify again. As we all know, the, the this this period, this election uh, election tribunal period, this electioneering period mm -hmm. uh, regarding elections are, are time bound, and yes. um, between now and November. The Supreme Court should be ready with, with its verdict. So there, there is nothing much, even though hearings haven't started, yeah. uh, so to speak, but there, there is, there's really nothing much the apex courts can do regarding accepting new evidence. It's, it's going to be very, very unprecedented if that mm. happens in, right. in this case. In this and case, yeah. For the CSU now, after all said and done, because Article side was saying why was the president objecting at every interval mm. to his request to examine is a, the document. academic, but the point um, the Tinobu side was making was because it is of no issue. There is mm -hmm. no there is no reason for for you to 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 request for this because we all know it is in a bid to challenge my legitimacy as as president. And where do you want to take it to? Even if um, you know it is not so. And now we have been um, we have been vindicated, so to speak, as the university in question has now adjudged and confirmed that he indeed finished from. Uh, their university in 1979 and has presented a, a copy, so to speak, of um, the certificate, but says it cannot um, issue another certificate because it's not within its powers to, to, do, to do so. so. Yeah. So, but, so for Efeso Skiamu to be talking about an apology, well, one would, one would understand their position because this is a very controversial issue and we hope that you know, this is this is rested. Of course, people will still be watching. It's not rested. Uh, unfortunately, it's not it's looking like it, it's rested as it is. Well, uh, there's been so much controversy. I was you know, just looking through uh, some comments reactions. and reactions coming uh, out of uh, this um, updates coming out of from Chicago State University. And I've been seeing some persons still say insisting that they want to see original documents. Uh, this is not proof enough. Uh, there are those still saying that uh, perhaps there were negotiations behind closed doors and we understand how things could be, these, that, and so many conversations around it. Yes, we know that um, certain persons will not be pacified or satisfied never. With, uh -uh. with this statement coming out of CSU. But whatever it is, uh, the Chicago State University has been able to prove that um, the president actually was a student there uh, between the period that uh, it said it he was. And uh, the, the documents actually match those that was presented before INEC. So how far do you want to go still trying to prove this case, especially for those who are uh, not satisfied, not <laughs> who are not yet convinced, is left to be seen. Uh, but then I believe that uh, this will allow or enable the president to focus more on governance as it is right now uh, with this sorted, so to speak, on his part. I believe that um, this will, there will be no longer distractions coming from the matter of your documentation, your documentation, mm -hmm. academic records and all of that will no longer serve as a distraction as right. it is right now. <laughs> we, we, we can only hope. We wait to see what next because <laughs> governance is key, yeah. and you know, you know, many Nigerians are also on the view of the view that can we just move on? That's mm. it. Even the court process itself is is somehow dis distractionary, so to speak, mm. because you know, of course, you have to be a superhuman, you know, as president, not to you know have that weighing on your mind as you govern a nation as large and you know diverse as, as ours, and, uh, diverse as Nigeria. You have to be superhuman, and you know. There is a need for us to, for, for the president or for the president to face his, his mandate now. But of course, this is a legal process, you know, that one just has to sit out. It's a very, it was a controversial election. And naturally, you know, so many people will be divided on the issue. But we just hope that the Supreme Court will come, end all of this once and for all, and he can focus on what really matters.